welcome to my very first work in progress video. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a super simple gauntlet build. Um, I decided to do a simple gauntlet because the rest of my costume is pretty intricate and I'm I'm tired at this point. And uh, th these gauntlets could probably be used for multiple different armor builds if you wanted to. And this is just really some good tips for finishing off your foam and stuff like that. So if you want to see it, uh, just keep watching. So I'm going to start with these pieces that I have pre-cut out. This is just a basic little gauntlet, whatever. I decided to use 6mm foam. This stuff is really flexible, good for lots of different stuff. Really useful. Useful stuff. And the other thing I have is this really thin craft foam. Don't remember what the millimeter is on that one. I have some Velcro that I'm going to be using to keep everything together and attach it. And I have my just basic tools, ruler, sharpie, scissors, stuff you need. Uh, your heat gun for obvious reasons. Um, you'll definitely need a heat gun for this. And then your glue stick, a uh, glue, <laughs> glue gun, and make sure you have lots of extra glue sticks for this. Uh, you will definitely need it. So now I'm just going to show you basically what we're going for here. Um, we're just going to be wrapping this around here. Yeah, really basic, but it'll look cool in the end. I'm going to leave this gap here because that's where we're going to have the uh, thinner foam we're going to use this to have a sort of strapping system really simple stuff um, we'll glue the foam to one side and then on the other side we will have the velcro that way we can pull it off whenever we need to take it off put it on now i'm going to run my heat gun on the inside and the outside Next, you're going to lay your arm down about where you'd like the armor to sit on your arm and you're going to fold the side over while it's still a little bit warm and you just have to hold it there for a pretty long time. You may even have to reheat the foam and you'll definitely have to reheat the other side before you're able to bend it. Our piece looks like it could still use some love, so we are just going to reheat it all up, make sure you get everywhere so it bends evenly, and you're just going to hold it really tight. The great thing about this foam is even if we do close it too small, it will always bend back open, and that's really great. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Yeah, see, even though I made that gap much smaller than what we measured, it still fits on my arm just fine, and it looks like the gap that we wanted is still there. So, great. Let's do it to the other one. Yeah, yeah. Our next step is going to be to measure out the thin piece of foam that's going to go on the inside and be the piece that our Velcro is attached to. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure the gap that's created across my wrist here. I think it was maybe a one and a half, two inch gap on me, but it'll be different on you. And I'm just going to take my thinner craft foam here. Yes, it's a different color than earlier. And I'm just going to line up my ruler get my sharpie and I'm going to make little dots all the way down so I can make sure that I'm making a nice straight line all the way down keep going down and then I'm going to take it and line my ruler up along those dots draw up do it a little bit more and now we are going to cut that out and this is what we will use for the inner straps now I'm going to measure the length of the opening so I know how much I need from the thinner foam. And I'm going to line up my ruler here, find the, I think it was seven inches, 
that sounds really big maybe like yeah seven inches I think it was and I'm gonna take my ruler or my little marker here make a mark draw a straight line across and there's my piece so I'm gonna cut this guy out and then once it's cut out I'm going to line it back up on the foam draw myself another line and then cut that out and I have two identical shapes Make sure whenever you're cutting, you're cutting on the inside of your line that you've drawn. Because if you're cutting it on the outside, you're also adding the width of your line. Which can, you know, it's not that big, but it still can, it can make a difference in the long run. Always make sure you're cutting on the inside of your line. So this is basically what we're going for here. Our next step is going to be to measure about an inch into our little squares that we just made. We're really just making a guide here. This is for whenever I put the hot glue onto the piece of foam. That way I know not to go past these two little dots. These little dots will also come in handy whenever it comes to attaching the foam to the actual gauntlet. Because I will know where the two lines are and I can line my dots up with the lines on the foam. Sorry for pulling it out of frame. I'm still... <laughs> trying to get used to recording everything like this so you're just gonna hold it until it dries it's really important to hold this until it dries luckily it's hot glue so it doesn't take very long and you just keep squishing it to make sure there's no bulging or anything else ugly like that and this is what it should look like uh, let's go ahead and do it to the other one Now we are going to measure out a piece of Velcro. Uh, you'll just use the same link that you used for your little foam insert thing and you'll take your velcro line it up and cut out a piece that's similar to the same size they don't really need to be perfect since these are going on the inside anyway and no one will ever see them you're going to take your pieces and separate them um, make sure you keep them organized somewhat on the table because i have been there i have put two of the rough pieces on the same thing and it just doesn't work and it always sucks having to pull velcro off of foam so i'm just going to line it up make sure it fits uh, run some hot glue on the back and i'm just going to stick it on um, close to the edge but i'm going to leave myself just a little bit of space you put it right on the edge anytime you try to take it off it might rip this foam is pretty flimsy, so you do have to be careful with it, of course, but um, I'm just going to flatten this out here a little bit, add some glue, and put it in pretty much the same spot as the other one. Now we're going to take the softer pieces and do the same thing. Add a little bit of hot glue all the way down. I like to do a wiggle motion, that way I know I'm getting the sides too. I'm going to open up one of my gauntlets and put it on the inside giving myself the same amount of room on the outside as I did on the inside holding it down till I know it's good and dry perfect now I need to do it to the next one yeah and here is what it looks like whenever I tried it on. They fit pretty good. Um, you can always re-hit this with a heat gun if they're too loose for you. Uh, it's just whatever you need to do to them to make them fit. To prime the pieces, I'm going to be using this matte black paint plus primer. This stuff is really good coverage. It works super great. It Yeah, it's super great. Can't recommend this stuff enough. I love using it. And this right here is my shiny purple. This is what I'm going to put over the top. It is paint plus primer as well, but it also has a glossy top to it. And I love it. 
Well, I messed up big time. You see these dents? That's because I was impatient whenever I was painting. Luckily, I have a backup plan. So in order to fix my horrible, horrible mess, I am going to measure out a one inch uh, little strip of foam that I'm just going to have go down the very center of it. Um, it's going to look like it's just a little piece of detail and nobody but me, you, and I guess whoever else watches this video will know that I messed up. And we honestly, we don't have to talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm just doing what I did earlier and measuring out a nice straight line and then I'm going to cut that out. Um, looks like I messed up on my line here and I'm just straightening it. Uh, this foam that I'm actually using right now is a sticky back foam, which this foam, this, the stick on it, it sticks to paint really well. So I'm pretty confident in using it, um, without anything extra. It doesn't really need anything extra. Now I will just trim this strip up to make sure it's perfectly straight, straight as I can possibly get it. Um, and then I'm going to measure it to see how long, and it looks like it's not quite long enough to get two out of the one strip. So I'm going to have to measure myself out another one. Now I'm going to peel the back off of one of my strips here and I am going to put it down the very center of this thing. Be careful lining it up because normally once you put the sticky side down, it's, it's staying there. Make sure you have a little bit hanging off of each end. I know you can't see it right now. I'm so sorry, um, but you'll be able to see it whenever my goofy ass brings it back into the frame. There it is. And um, I thought it would be a good idea to cut this just down a little bit and then tuck it under. But what I found is if you just cut it off straight at, this, at the line, um, that makes no sense. But if you were to just cut it straight off instead of trying to tuck it, it looks a lot better. And that's what I ended up doing in the end. Um, but here I was kind of just panicked because I just ruined these gauntlets. My next step is to do it again to the next one. Next, you prime and paint again. And there you have it, the completed painted gauntlet. I think our little mishap was not all that bad. It gave us another piece of detail and I think it overall looks pretty fantastic.